Okay, in this tutorial we will break a biscuit and I'll show you some of the hidden uh, tools in uh, After Effects, basically tools that you probably skipped over. Okay, so first I'm going to create a comp. I'm going to make it 1280 by 720 so it runs a bit quicker. Duration uh, 90 frames will be sufficient. I'm going to import my jammy, my biscuit. And I'm going to put it in the middle, scale it up a little bit, and I'm going to sort of, it's called comp one, I'm just going to drag and drop it again. And inside uh, selecting comp one, I'm going to apply, go to effects and presets. If you can't find it, go to window effects and presets and type shatter and simply drag and drop it. Now you've probably tried to use this uh, effect a couple of times and you play it and great, a bunch of bricks, and then you give up, right? That's because we need to turn on view rendered. And now, oh my God, we have all the 3D goodness of the Shatter plugin. Just gonna go to my preview and play. Ah, there it is, the whole time. Bricks isn't quite the effect uh, we want, so let's go to shape and choose pattern. Oh my god, all these patterns. Let's choose glass. Much better. But also, what else do we have? Eggs? Oh my god, we have eggs. It shatters into eggs. What else do we have? A rhombie? Nice. Anyway, stick to glass. Now, as you can see, it's pretty big, the chunks, so we simply increase repetitions here. Ah, that's much nicer, isn't it? Wow, look at this, guys. Now that's a shatter. Now the problem is, I want to isolate the shatter to, uh, say, this region. So let's create a mask. So go to Layer, Solid, uh, choose a white color. And let's choose the ellipse tool and just, dra uh, just draw a crude mask. Let's put it over here. Now, on my comp, let's just call this biscuit comp. I'm going to go to gradient and choose gradient layer, the white solid one. Actually, let let's just call that bisque mask. Sorry. There we go. And the source, I'm going to choose effects and masks, pretty important. And I'm going to hide the mask, so make it invisible. Uh, nothing happens. That's because we need to increase the shatter threshold to 1%. And now we're getting a localized shattering effect. Nice. Let's increase the repetitions again. Let me do 99. And it looks a bit chunky. I mean, let me make 60. Quite thick chunks. So you can choose, uh, so you can edit the extrusion depth down to say 0.1. Okay, that's better. Much better. And if you want to, you can go to mask and uh, move this around and it like shatters like a different uh, portion of the biscuit. So I'm just gonna stick to the top as if someone's uh, munching the top right corner. Okay, we have all kinds of effects here. We can shift the origin. So it's kind of like exploding like to the side. So I can basically, I can shift kind of explosion, uh, explosion point. I can actually even edit the direction somewhat. And under physics, we have gravity, so you can, gravity set to three, we can choose zero gravity, in which case they just float into space. Uh, I'm going to set the gravity to four, maybe. So you have all these parameters here you can play around with, uh, rotation speed. Not nice. Okay, back to point two. Uh, we also have lighting, so if we go to lighting, uh, we can actually 
adjust the light intensity, uh, the ambient light, the depth. And if you really want to, you can create a scene camera and light. So if we just go to layer new camera, just create like a 35 millimeter camera. And then we go to biscuit comp. Under camera system, choose comp camera. So now if we use the kind of tumble orbit tool, we can actually rotate. We can actually rotate around the biscuit. Basically, we have some decent chunks, but uh, if we tumble around the biscuit, it kind of looks quite flat, doesn't it? So let's add some smaller crumbs and make the biscuit look a bit more uh, thicker. So I'm just going to duplicate biscuit's comp. Control D, put it underneath, and just note uh, I selected uh, the cube option, which makes it 3D down here. I'm going to hit P for the second biscuit comp and X, Y, Z, the third one, I'm going to push it back a bit. So as you can see, it gives the illusion of thickness very slightly. It's a bit of a cheat, but uh, if we tumble, orbit, just kind of, it just looks like it's 3D slightly. And the second advantage is on this uh, second biscuit comp, I'm going to go to shape, make the repetitions uh, 200. So that basically creates these kind of smaller chunks. In physics, I'm just going to increase the randomness so they behave differently. And uh, increase viscosity, maybe just play with these settings. Extrusion depth should be smaller, so instead of 0.1, 0 0.01. Let me just play that back. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to create a new null because it's not good to animate the camera directly. Okay, call it cam null, make it 3D. Uh, on the camera, I'm just going to reset all the transformations I did and then attach it to the cam null. Now, hit R on the cam null, and I'm gonna keyframe the Y rotation. See? Let me just move this up a bit. And I'm just gonna make it go from, say, uh, minus 21 to minus five. Let me just play this back. So now we have this kind of like fake 3D effect. And we also have kind of smaller crumbs, which makes the overall explosion a bit more interesting. So that's the end of this tutorial. I'm gonna keep it simple. Uh, you have plenty of parameters to play around with and uh, happy experimenting. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a small super thanks. Failing that, like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you in the next lesson.